A sleepy North Somerset town thrown into chaos. Shots fired, the Portbury 100 closed, a man dead. More than eight hours after the initial incident happened, official word breaks over what sparked the graphic scenes near Porter's Head. There were initial calls uh, in, the, in the morning during rush hour traffic uh, as locals from the uh, Port 800 area saw um, a man with a, uh, with, with a handgun in a car. Witnesses have said who, who, who were caught up in this incident have said that they've seen uh, police uh, cars pinning, the, uh, pinning the, the car that was being um, uh, pursued. With the Independent Police Complaints Commission involved and an investigation underway, information remains thin on the ground. Attention turning to the traffic chaos building on major commuter routes as Porter's Head loses its gateway to the rest of the southwest. We are starting to see a bit of the disruption caused by the incident that happened this morning. With people having to take a diversion from the Portbury 100, which is the main and only road really into Porter's Head, then the motorway is starting to build up. But at this time of night, it is rush hour and you'd expect to see quite a lot of people coming down here. So now that this is closed, there is quite a lot of congestion on the motorway. As the day turned to evening and more information from the public began to emerge, the IPCC investigations continued, leaving much information to be gathered from eyewitness accounts. Apparently cars speeding through North Western um, to catch up with this, with this vehicle, but we do have um, accounts, witness accounts of the front of the car being riddled uh, with, with bullet holes um, uh, and uh, following on from that um, people, uh, people who were at the scene have described shots being fired perhaps uh, five up to ten times. The incident happening early in the morning, the town of Porter's Head remained silent. No signs of Port 300 reopening. The police are still here cordoning off the area and it's a very eerie shot we've got here as it's very likely at this point because it is getting darker it is going into the night that the road may well still be closed into the night and even into tomorrow morning so the Port 300 is still closed at this point because of the incident that's happening this morning traffic has now returned to the Port 300 and to Porter's Head a sense of normality for the rest of Bristol a further wait to find out why this happened